and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mono white formation. This is our Christmas Day stream. Uh, this deck is the reason why we're playing mono white formation here is because of the Christmas classic um, Dreaming of a White Christmas. And uh, usually, you know, that's supposed to mean a bunch of snow outside. But with Magic, I guess that means that we're going to be playing a mono white deck. So that's how we're, uh, this is our, uh, that, that's how this uh, deck fits into our Christmas theme. Now, as you all know, we've played this deck twice before. Uh, we played it like um, about eight, eight days ago or so, and we went 5-0 in a league with it. And so that was awesome. That was exciting. And then we played it on Monday in best of one day Monday, and we actually went 7-0 in best of one. We were really fortunate. There's a couple of times where we need to draw like a specific card, and we did or we need our opponent not to hit a land drop, and they didn't kind of thing, you know. So, it, and, uh, so yeah, everything went well for us there. So now we're going to move it on to the next test. So it, it passed the best of one. It passed the, the Constructed League. Now we're going to take it over to best of three Mythic, the hardest test, and really see how it holds up over there. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today with our mono white formation deck. And obviously we're just going to be very, like our deck's all about aggro, being aggressive, trying to get a bunch of creatures out there and use unbreakable formation to finish off games. So here we go. Let's let's give it the biggest test. We're going to go play five matches in ranked. So we're going to go traditional, standard, ranked, mono white formation. Here we go. No, it's always had one. I've always just played one castle in the deck. Um, yeah. I was just talking about that a little bit ago, right before we started recording. Uh, I don't think that more castles are worth it. Hey, Alder 2, Merry Christmas. Because, like, imagine this hand that had Castle Castle. Basically, it's just, it's too risky to have a hand that you have two castles in for your opener. You have to have a Plains. And with just 18 planes, it's not very many. Because we have to play our one drops on turn one. Thanks, Alder 2. So now they're probably going to time wipe this next turn. And that's why we're going to have unbreakable formation to save our creatures from time wipe. Oh. That was unexpected. Unexpected. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm two off of lethal. We can have lethal here. Hey, Paul. Merry Christmas.
There's no real reason to play this raise the alarm. Because they have Law Rune Enforcer can only tap creatures with CMC 2 or greater. They cannot tap my creatures. Even if it could, we have Rally of the Wings that would untap them anyway. Oh, Rally of Wings untap all, all of my creatures. I don't know if I've ever noticed that before, of it untapping my tappers. That's something to keep in mind. I don't know if I've noticed that. Uh, no, it won't be in the near future for having Pioneer on Arena. That's a They are planning to have Pioneer on Arena, but that's a long-term thing. Um... I, I wouldn't expect that. Like, I'd be surprised if we have Pioneer on Arena by next Christmas, basically. I, I expect that to be a longer-term thing of trying to get all the cards on there and stuff. I'd expect that to take multiple years. So I don't know exactly what they got going on over here with having... Um, having that Cavalier in the main deck. Like, I kind of want to just take out Hanged Executioner or play Gideon. I mean, honestly, I want to take out Luxodon. Luxodon's my worst card against a Sweeper. But maybe are they just not playing as many Sweepers? Let's try this. Hey, Patwork. Thanks for getting Twitch Prime and sub in here. Happy holidays. Yeah, definitely can expect sweepers. Oh, awesome. Welcome from Germany. I don't know, I'm not feeling great about this game. There you go. There you go, Green. Yeah, I gotta get gotta get something a little different. Let's try this. They have three different bird noises for those. I think they had two different bird noises. That's more like it.
banish Eve. I believe in you, friend. Of course, now Brazen Borrower gets to bounce Gideon. Like, that's annoying. Uh, yeah. Can't beat that. Okay, so that's just creatures gain indestructible. It's not permanence. So that wouldn't save Gideon from a planar cleansing anyway. Yeah, planar cleansing's a feel bad for sure. I mean, I don't I don't think we have a chance of winning this one anymore. Right, so they're playing Deputy of Detention also? Gosh, Deputy of Detention's a huge problem. Yuck. I don't like our chances here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like our chances. Yeah, deputy of detention's rough. All right. Yep. I think on the play, we're going to have to try full aggro with all the Venerate Luxodons, like the Rally of Wings, and get us more damage. Even though Hanged Executioner is a way to get rid of a deputy. Hey, Joe. Wow, what? No. I uh, Definitely wanted to mull again. I want to keep this. Whoops. Did not bounce Gideon. I march into battle, your chip. Just Wouldn't that just I make sense just to bounce Gideon here? I guess deputy. I guess deputy. What do I think of Cavalier of Gales and Blue Eye Control? I I don't I don't think I like it that much. That's what my opponent's doing here.
Yeah, I, I don't think I like it that much. Sarah Pal Paladin getting a resub in here. Thank you so much for keeping that sub going. I appreciate that. That's our 12th sub of the day. Basically, do I go all in here? If they just attack out, I take eight, but obviously I could block the deputy and get Gideon back. They probably don't just do that. I think it's a little unlikely that they have a sweeper if they're just willing to do throw down this finale, but maybe not also. Now they can just attack and kill Gideon. The Deputy of Detention was just amazing this game. That's a, that's a card I didn't have an answer to, and I, I don't just really, I really just don't have an answer to that card. That was a great sideboard card. That's good. I think. Right? Is it good? Yeah, Stone Quill Vigilance. We are three damage from lethal there. GG.
They did not keep their Teferi alive. So I got to play an instant. They could have kept their Teferi alive. And then won that game. Want to know? Hmm. Gray Merchant, yeah, Gray Merchant's awesome. I'm excited to to have it in standard. I think it's a really good addition to. Uh, addition to cards I like to play, you know, I like to play Dread Presence, which obviously it works well with, but um, picturing playing Grey Merchant with uh, Bola Citadel, that sounds awesome. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad that Grey Merchant's back in standard. Yeah, Grey Merchant is reprinted, they announced that today, it's being reprinted in Theros. Oh, yeah, and Historic also. Mono Black Control is already good in Historic, I think. Uh, they haven't announced what kind of dual lands they're printing, but it's just it would just make sense for them printing the other five temples. We all expect them to just have the other five temples that are not in standard, um, because the temples were originally on Thero. So like it just it just makes sense. So like the the color combinations that don't have temples right now should just get temples. So going double Pegasus puts four power into play, where Hanged Executioner only puts two power into play. So let's get four power into play. Even though having two three mana cards is a lot more awkward in our hand than having, um, you know, three mana and a couple one drops. Rugged Highlands. I could see Island, Island, Rugged Highlands be... I could see that playing Flame Sweep, which would obviously be really devastating. I'm going to hold... I'm going to be kind of greedy here and play this Hanged Executioner also, and then I'm going to be holding up Unbreakable Formation for the rest of the game. I'm not going to just cast Unbreakable Formation, um, like main phase, because that's 13 damage. So this is a two-turn clock now. Hey, Eddie. Merry Christmas. Things that are in Throne of Eldraine are good for two years. All the, the stuff in Standard that was not in Throne of Eldraine, all the other four sets, the other four sets in Standard will all rotate out this upcoming fall. Throne of Eldraine is like the start of a new year for Standard, and so the other four sets were last year's sets from Guilds of Ravnica to Core 2020.
Merry Christmas, chain smokers. What would punish me for casting Unbreakable Formation right now? I guess Flame Sweep? Flame Sweep would. If they have Singular Removal, it doesn't. So the only thing that does is Flame Sweep. If they just counter Unbreakable Formation, we still have Lethal on board. They'd have like Counter Removal plus... Counter Spell plus Removal. Or, of course, Flame Sweep. Like, this is the worst play against specifically Flame Sweep. But I feel like my opponent probably would have played Flame Sweep the last couple of turns if they had it. Yeah, they definitely play Flame Sweep. So yeah, Flame Sweep's gonna wreck me pretty good here. I don't want to play Hanged Executioner. Talk about a card that's really bad against Flame Sweep. I want some number of Disenchants and some Gideons. Maybe two Gideon, three Disenchants. All right, let's do that. Yeah, Gideon's good against Flame Sweep. Not so good against Brazen Borrower. Just, you know, getting bounced. Maybe I need more of them. Hey, Merry Christmas, Candice. Hope you've had a great day. Right, if I... If I I was saying that if they would have countered... This hand's really ugly. It's basically the exact same thing. Ray Day! If they would have countered, I would have had lethal still. That's what I was saying. Merry Christmas, Ray Day. Um, yeah, I do Mavo. I don't try too hard, but yeah, I play in the, the qualifier things. And if we do well, then, then we do well. But yeah, whenever there is the Mythic Championship qualifier. I'll be playing in it.
weighty. Yeah, that's that's a company that I do not support and do not care to comment on. So I'm trying to play around Flame Sweep, of course, as you can tell, by just keeping my three creatures out here and just kind of doing what we can with attacking with them. Uh, we do know they have the Chemister's Insight, so if, if they counter Gideon, then they aren't also casting Chemister's Insight. Like they're doing one or the other with their mana, but we have three 1-1s out here. Like That's some pretty good pressure. We're not too incentivized to flood the board too much besides that. It is annoying picking off these 1-1s one, one by one if um, if that was their decision. Yeah, we did, Valari. Yep. Hey, Flips. I I did not move yet. Thanks, Minasaur. Um, yeah, MC, yeah, this is the same one. But then also, wait, no, probably, probably not. Um, That's a good trade for me. Just trading. I'll trade any of these for an expansion. Expansion Explosion is such a valuable card. I am very willing to trade a one drop for Expansion Explosion. Which is not, which like, like they could just cast Explosion and draw so many cards. And they could just draw five cards here. I will I will take that trade. So the option is either play Luxodon and tap the Law Rune Enforcer or play Stone Coil Serpent. And I'm not really sure which one I like more, honestly. I'm going this route, but I, I don't love it. Maybe I should have done Luxodon. I'm not sure. I, I could definitely understand wanting to do Luxodon instead. And get the Law Rune Enforcer to be a 2-3. Yeah. That was that was so awesome. That Tuesday, that nineteen one. You liked locks, Joe? Yeah, I could definitely see locks there.
Well, Loxodon would have definitely been better against that, so looks like I should have gone Loxodon. Yeah, the flame sweep. Yep, made that worse for me. Third flame sweep. Come on. Gideon is looking pretty good, though, for, like, what, what we're seeing here post-board. I think I'm going to be bringing in more Gideons. If I cast if I cast giant killer, it's just gonna die to this flame sweep. Doesn't really seem useful to cast because of that. No, Dawn of Hope's too slow. For a deck like that. Yeah, Dawn of Hope's too slow. I don't think we're winning this. Them having another Chemistry's Insight still, and now Reclamation, Castle of Antris. I, I'd be very surprised if we win this game. But I'm going to be bringing in the Gideons. I'm going to be bringing in all the Gideons for the, the last game. Gideon does look... Like Gideon would have been really good against all these cards, except for the one Mystical Dispute that they used to counter it. It's my one Gideon that I had. They're just playing different ops. Yeah, this we have Venerate, Luxodon, and Unbreakable Formation that can be anthems. Like we have eight cards that are anthems in the deck. Hey, Welsh Dragon, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I have five lands. I wonder how much mana my opponent spent this turn so far. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. They spent 18 mana so far this turn. Oh, wait. Oh, did they cast the Chemistry's Insight twice? At 22 mana? Four Flame Sweeps? It's absurd. They just played the Bone Crusher Giant and then killed the Bone Crusher Giant in the same turn. Speaking of absurd. Wounds Reclamation is pretty broken. I was, what, playing three dis disenchants? 
I don't I don't know if we go with the full four disenchant. You know, we were able to destroy one wilderness reclamation earlier. But I mean they're they're basically all the way through their deck now with having four chemistry's insights. This game's over, but I feel pretty good about game three. Well, depending on how many flame sweeps they have and and everything. No, next no, ni neither combo deck is that prevalent in historic. Esper control is the biggest deck. Uh, besides that, aggro decks like Mono Red and Gruel are pretty big too. That's kind of like the. <clears throat> Alright, they're gonna just cast an explosion. I'm dead. Just gonna move on. Yeah, I was trying to think of like something that Tamik would do here, but Tamik just doesn't isn't going to be doing anything. <clears throat> I think I like Rally of Wings because it can protect my creatures from a flame sweep, my flyers. So I like Rally. Let's play more raise the alarms, less law rune enforcer. I don't I don't think we need law rune enforcer. Deafening silence could be a great cyborg card for this matchup. Deafening silence doesn't like that's not Each player can't cast more than one non-creature spell each turn. Yeah, I mean, maybe that, yeah, that could be. Yeah, that could be. <clears throat> this hand's kind of rough, like, I love Disenchant for Wilderness Reclamation, and I really like Gideon. We just have, like, these, we need another land for Gideon. We have, like, these two Luxodons we can't cast at all. It's just, like, this hand's, like, close. Our deck doesn't mulligan very well. Like, you know, like when you have like these low power cards, having six low power cards instead of seven low power cards is a big difference. So with our deck not mulliganing that well. I'm just going to try this. Now, I'm not playing another creature out to a flame sweep. I wanted I wanted to draw a land and be able to play Luxodon there. Or even or of course Gideon. I feel like I've dealt so much damage to my opponent. They've already gained three life though.
Well, obviously this hand didn't work out. I'm not drawing the third land. I could have gone the double, you know, I could have gone double raise the alarm into Luxodon, obviously. But it's just so likely that, you know, like they're missing a land drop. It's so likely that they have flame sweep in hand. Yeah, yeah, they have four flame sweeps. Well, I doubt they have flame sweep if they're just doing that. Right, that probably means they don't have a flame sweep in hand. That hurts. It's easier to beat them when they have five mana, not with ten mana. Please don't have Quench. I wanted to draw a land there to be able to play around Quench. Please don't have Quench. I am here to aid in the assault. I mean, I guess they could have just another brazen borrower. I will lend you my strength. That would also be annoying. How they're pointing at my things, it looks like another borrower. An unsummon? Now they get infinite mana. And how are we supposed to beat 15 mana a turn? It's what, 18 mana a turn? I couldn't, I couldn't beat 12 mana a turn. How am I supposed to beat 18 mana a turn? How is this reasonable?
We're dead here. Triple Wilderness Reclamation. I mean, obviously, also like this, this game was just so much of us not hitting that third land drop, you know, not being able to play Gideon on turn three and not, not being able to do stuff for a while on turn three without finding that third land for way too long. That was really the, the backbreaker of this game. That's unfortunate. Flame sweep's a good one. But wilderness reclamation is even better. We had the disenchant for the first one, but then having a second and a third reclamation. Not much to do. This has just been a really, really frustrating day to play Magic. Not gonna lie. It's Christmas though. So can't shouldn't be shouldn't be upset. We just played historic and and now standard so it's, it's not just standard yeah it's been a day of opponent having like worst case scenarios for us over and over and over again every single turn that's what today's been Yeah, Kyle, they didn't use any specific, like, one deck to get to Mythic.
So Rampage can make me sacrifice Glass Casket. This looks like just Rakdos. Um... So Disenchant is really just for Witch's Oven. So we're going to play two Disenchant. There's a lot of spells. I think we want to try to stay in the air as much as possible against Cauldron Familiar. It's a pretty aggressive glass casket. I hope they don't have another rampage. But yeah, I would have preferred to land there and just play to 3 3. So I need five mana to guide Mother the Mayhem Devil to turn it into a 5 4 and then. and then Giant Killer it. A lot of mana. Looks like I need to uh, sacrifice the serpent, not the glass casket. If I knew they had double witches of and mayhem devil in hand.
not our day today. Not our day today. Maybe the Gruel deck up next, playing Gruel. Um, maybe that'll help. All right, so, you know, of course, my plan was to just play the Giant Killers out and then Unbreakable Formation and, you know, like, keeping this trying to draw until they're one drops, but... You know, seeing Lovestruck Beast over here, we're, we're going to um, keep these as chop downs first. They're going to have large creatures that we need to chop down. Yeah, I like this deck more than Azorius Flyers. Yeah, I think this is a stronger deck. Get the Rimrock Knight out of there, too. That works pretty good. That works pretty good. They're out of cards. Do I want a 4-4 four, four Serpent and then still tap, or do I just want a 6-6? Six, six? My opponent, you know, like needs to draw like Ember Cleaver or some kind of big, real big hitter like that. Because otherwise, I like our chances. My best draw is a land, so I can raise Unbreakable Formation and Giant Killer. It looks like they have another. They got another Bone Crusher. That was that was definitely a good draw.
course, now that we know that they have a force in hand, if they attack out, they die. Um, yeah, we can make pretty good blocks now. So I keep the card in hand and just attack out. My life's harder. Because I have to try to like play around shock and everything like that and, and Ember Cleave, you know, so much stuff. Now I don't have to play around anything. So they just die. So Glass Casket is good. I'm not sure if I really want Devout Decree. I'm not sure if they have enough red permanents to really play it. Obviously, you know, like Bone Crusher Giant, Spellbreaker, Gruel Spellbreaker. That's kind of about it. I guess they had a Rimrock Knight in there, but I'm not too worried about Rimrock Knight. Um... Yeah, I, I just I just hate that sideboard. And not playing like playing Hunted Witness instead of playing Stone Coil Serpent is just not Stone Coil Serpent is miles and miles better than Hunted Witness. But they're not comparable. Stone Coil has frequently been one of the best cards in our deck. Anyway, mm -hmm. um Yeah, so I guess I'm not going to... All right, so we're not going to play Devout Decree, so we determined that. So we're going to just play the Glass Caskets. We're going to take out... The thing is, is like, I like all of these cards, honestly. I guess it could be Raise the Alarm. But Luxodon and Formation can make Raise the Alarm pretty valuable. We'll take out one execution or two raise the alarm. We'll do that for the three slots. Hey, nerd girl, Merry Christmas. Ooh. Nerd girl giving away some inspiring veteran card style codes. We're gonna have to mulligan this. The nerd girl coming through. All right, so first come, first serve. They're there in the chat. Doesn't look good against Bone Crusher Giant. But I don't want to play a 2 2 Stone Coral Serpent. I don't want Stone Coral Serpent to die to Bone Crusher Giant. Wow, so many codes. Like, this card's a lot better than Hunted Witness. Hunted Witness, not be doing anything. So these are for the Inspiring Veteran card style. <clears throat> 
There's a whole lot of codes in here for everybody. Yeah, correct, Toti. Thank you so much there, MTG Nergirl. Thank you so much. Nergirl is, of course, another wonderful s streamer. If you haven't... Uh, if you're not following her channel, go do that. And also, she posts a lot of videos on YouTube also. So if y'all are watching on YouTube, search for MTG Nergirl on YouTube as well. A lot of limited. If you like drafting, if you want to get better at drafting... I think I need the Stone Coral Serpent to try to hold back the Spellbreaker. Yeah, that's a problem. Ember Cleave. We can't even tap Spellbreaker, can we? Alright, so where I made my mistake here was just blocking with the Stone Coil Serpent and trading there with the Stone Coil Serpent. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of Spellbreaker. Spellbreaker is a huge problem. I mean, I, obviously I could play Disenchant also. I don't like playing Disenchant as much. I think I'd rather play Devout Decree. I think it's going to be more, use, more useful more of the time. Yep, it is, Dejumes. All right, a little better hand here.
looks like they got Bone Crusher Giant again. If I play Stone Coral Serpent for two, then, you know, like, they kill the Stone Coral Serpent there, and I, I don't really want them to kill the Stone Coral Serpent, to be honest. But yeah, I could have put, like, Stone Coral Serpent out for two and then tapped all five of them. Another Giant Killer is awesome. I don't know. Maybe I should have just done that. Maybe I should have just played the Stone Cold Servant for two. Just let them kill that. Because of how far ahead that we were already going to be. Yeah, I guess I should have. Alright, two and two. We're fighting back. Well, I'm glad I'm glad it was it was good Matthew that's good glad it was good all right that was better see stay positive it'll, it'll turn around you know we had some poor luck the last couple of matches I was all sad just stay positive it'll turn around GG's Very similar to last game. Oh, I'd like to draw a land. I'm going to play Executioner and Luxodon. Oh, I'd really like to draw a land here. Come on, land. Boo. I'll do them. Out of the way, elephant. That's a lot of power. That's a lot of power. Hey, ODB, Merry Christmas. Hawkeye is doing better. Um,. He is, uh, you know, he's he got his uh, pain medication yesterday, this morning also, and he's starting to eat a little bit. So yeah, he he ate he ate some for for lunch and dinner and a little bit for breakfast today. Um, didn't eat very much of his lunch, but still ate a little bit of his lunch. So yeah, so he's starting to eat again, and so yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> Frisky Vince is going all out, putting a hat on everything. That was that was my turn four. Um, yeah. So like, if we draw Venerated Luxons, it doesn't seem like we really need to sideboard. But we know that Mayhem Devil. Can be a really big problem. Let's 
Let's bring in Devout Decrees, Disenchant. And just try that. I'm not bringing in Glass Casket. Let's bring in all the Disenchants. Hmm. I don't really like this hand. I don't think that hand's winning. All right, I like this hand more. We got a decree for the devil. Got a couple of flyers. I, of course, would have liked to cast, or would have liked to keep. Um, that other one drop. I hope they don't draw a Witch's Oven. Tilt. Tilt. No, I can't devout decree that thing. This is just really annoying. I think I need the one mana to tap. I think I need to keep like one mana available to tap down this Love Struck Beast. Which means I only have one mana to work with if, if that's the case. I guess I could double block that Love Struck Beast with, with two Luxodons. Or Luxodon Law Luxodon Law Rune Enforcer. We can't take another five, of course. But yeah, that was obviously the the absolute worst possible card that we could see was that Witch's Oven. That was really unfortunate for me. It just turns on everything and they're Everything over here, like with these trailer crumbs and everything.
pretty poorly for me. So getting rid of the Cauldron Familiar so that they right now they cannot attack with the Venerate Luxodon and they don't just have like a lot of, you know, they don't just get to sacrifice it all the time to the Mayhem Devil. Or like sacrifice it to the Witch's Oven for Mayhem Devil and all that kind of stuff. So many geese in the air, too. For blockers. Unfortunately. They have to block two things, though. They do have to lose two of their creatures. Kind of thing, yeah, just love struck and goose. Yeah. Makes sense because they get two two food for getting rid of the love struck. Draw that witch's oven that one turn. Would have had this. It would have just waited a turn on witch's oven, even. Uh, this is Shine by Collective Soul. Mayhem Devil's pretty good. Yeah, how do we fit in caskets, though? I can't just have, like, zero creatures. Ugh.
Do I not play four disenchant? Yeah, I mean, I would like to play casket. Is that enough creatures? I'm kind of thinking keep alarm because alarm could be two creatures. We saw there, like. I don't know. So I'm thinking we're going to draw creatures. Giant killer, that's a good start. Obviously, if they have Mayhem Devil, this is this is just very bad for me. Yeah, they would have needed an untapped red to go along with Mayhem Devil. So I need an untapped land to be able to play Luxidon here. I need untapped land. Nope. Really need that third land. Please don't have Mayhem Devil. That's frustrating. Nice card reward. All right, so didn't do as well this time. Two and three. Mayhem Devil uh, really mowed us down in like four different games. Uh, that was the main thing that, that was really destroying us was Mayhem Devil. But then Flame Sweep was pretty tough too. Um, those are going to be some tough cards there. Um, could have Mulliganed more. Um, yeah, I mean, I could have mulligan more, um, but sometimes the opponent just has very good hands. You know, they just kind of have everything set up with Witches Oven, Cauldron Familiar, and Mayhem Devil, and you don't have an answer. All right, anyway, um, that's Mono White Formation. So didn't hold up as well this time in Best of Three, but I think there's just a... a there's just a good amount of variance with this kind of deck. It's going to look better some days than than others because there are cards like Flame Sweep that that really hurt the deck, um, and like Mayhem Devil. Um, that if your opponent's not drawing them, your deck looks a lot better than whenever they are drawing them, kind of thing. That happens. All right, uh, that's it here though. Those y'all on YouTube, hope you still liked the video. Hit that like button over there, leave a comment, all that kind of stuff. Thanks so much for watching some mono white formation, and I'll see you for the next video.